Charles, I want to succeed in life. What tip can you give me? I'm only 24 years old. All right, Alexander, I'll give you three pieces of advice. First, learn about active listening. This is a piece of advice I didn't take to heart until my 30s. And to my chief of staff, Tamara, she reminds me of this every single day, usually very aggressively. Uh, and she's usually right, more than I'd like to admit. You got to listen to people. No matter how smart you are, how talented you are, how creative you are, other people there, they're not NPCs, they're not robots, they're human beings and they have an opinion, they have values. And active listening is not just sitting down and waiting for the other person to shut up so you have your turn to speak. It's trying to understand their values and empathize with their position. If you don't understand a person's values, you find you're talking past each other. You're not arguing about facts because usually you both agree on reality and facts. You're arguing about the interpretation of them against the value set. Empathy and active listening communication is so important. You learn that every dimension of your life is gonna get better. Your personal relationships, your professional relationships, your career, everything. People just like you. They feel like you make them matter. I wish I had learned that a lot earlier in life. I just didn't, and it was uh, bad for me. Two, learning about time management. Dave Allen's getting things done, uh, Zettelkasten, you know, all these things, how to take good notes, how to manage your time properly. We live in a digital world, Cal, uh, Cal Newport, uh, deep work, these types of things. Learning how to segregate your time between the things that you go deep and you focus deep and when you're doing shallow decision-making work or downtime. Big part of that is learning a system that you take to heart, Pomodoro, whatever. There's thousands of them. Find something that works for you, but make sure you integrate that in. You will get your life back. You will get hours every day over a year, probably an eighth of a year you get back. Over a lifetime, you get five, six years of free time just from that alone, maybe 10, which means you can master something. Okay. Third, mental states, flow states, flow training, Stephen Kotler, these types of things. Think about it and train it. I haven't invested as much time as I need to, but I'm a big fan of these things. Meditation, flow states, being able to, when you're in a work endeavor, enter flow and stay in flow and get it done. And also, when the job is done, being able to clear your mind, zazen, this, this, this clear mind, so important. So mindfulness and flow. You do those three things, uh, Alexander, you really commit to those. By the time you're 30, you're going to be a rock star. Everybody's going to want to be your friend. You can get anything done you want to get done. And when you do it, you do it at the level that the top 1% do it. And because you're mindful, you're balanced. You don't emotionally react to things. You're calm. Stuff doesn't bother you. You're just the chillest dude in the room, always. Best of luck.